At 547, you ran into Minato, and after killing him, you talked about how PVM players should fire back, freeze, and if you cannot be able to use How do we escape PKs in the Rev Caves? Okay, let's assume that you are a PVMer and you're just minding your own business, killing these revenants. And then all of a sudden, this PKer logs in and tries to kill you. What do you do? Now, first of all, do not run away. Now, this is only relevant to the PKs that teleblock you, which is probably going to be like 99% of the players. And the reason for this is pretty obvious. You've just been teleblocked, and no matter how much you run, they're going to catch up to you. You. And the second thing that you do not do is run to Hobbs. Chances are you're going to die before you even get to Hobbs because the PKs outgear you significantly. And even if you get to Hobbs, it's not a guarantee that you can escape. If a PK knows what he's doing, he's going to kill you regardless, especially if he has a team with him. And the other issue with running to Hobbs is now you're outside of the rev caves, which means dead man mode mechanics no longer apply. And this makes it a hundred times easier for clans to kill you because they can now spec trade much easier and a whole bunch of other stuff as well that's just not worth getting into. Just, yeah, just trust me, don't go to Hobbs. It is not worth. It. Now this is the only thing that you have to do and the only requirement is at least level 79 magic. It is recommended that you have at least 94 for ice barrage but this method can be done with just entangles or even a ZGS so you just need something to freeze your opponent for at least 15 seconds. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure that your opponent is on the west side to you. Now the reason for this is because of mithril seeds. Anytime you click a mithril seed, the direction it will move your player is to the west. The second clip I'm hiding on the west side, which is actually a mistake I made. And you see my opponent trying to seed to get towards me. And that is why I have to run all the way around to make sure he can't get to me in this spot right here. And once you have positioned yourself correctly, you now want to wait until there's about two to three, maybe four or five seconds left on your freeze timer. And you want to start throwing freezes at your opponent. Basically, you just have to make sure that your opponent is frozen for at least nine to ten seconds seconds while you are completely unfrozen. And the chances of you catching a freeze are roughly 40 to 50% depending on your gear and your mage level. Now right here, my opponent is frozen for at least another 13, 14 seconds. For this to work, you have to make sure that the last hit before you run around the corner is your hit on your opponent. So as you can see here, I wait for him to hit me and then I hit him with a ballista and then I run around the corner. And then about seven seconds later, I am able to log out. Now this is incredibly important. You can get away with it in certain situations, but if you're up against the clan or your opponent knows knows what he's doing, then you have to make sure that you do this method correctly, otherwise you will be killed. So yeah, that is pretty much the best and only way that you should be escaping the Revenant Caves. I should also mention as well that once you have learned this, another thing that you can do to help escape is learn how to PK. I'm not even joking, just having that skull above your head and having PKing gear on you will scare 99% of the other PKers away, since their whole purpose is to attack other PVMers, not PKers. So if they start attacking you and then you start attacking them back in PvP gear, they're going to get scared and 9 out of 10 times they're going to run away, even if you don't know what you're doing. And try sticking to worlds that most PKers don't like going into, such as Australian worlds, because of the ping. But yeah, just little things like that will always help as well. Um, pretty much it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all tomorrow. What are you waiting for? Yes, I'm real.